Hello there everybody, how's it going and how have you been? Welcome to Invisible Ink. This is possibly the first episode of a new series I hope to start on my channel. I say possibly because I recorded myself playing the tutorial, but I haven't yet decided whether or not I want to upload that or not. Uh, redundancy for the win. Uh, anyway, Invisible Ink, in case you are not aware, is a turn-based, stealth-oriented, tactical roguelike. I feel like I just slammed four different genre titles together right there. Uh, but it should become a little more evident once we get into the game. A uh, quick little word of warning though. I'm not entirely sure how I'm wanting to record this game. Uh, what I'm doing for this attempt is it. I'm going to stop recording whenever I get a game over, basically. Uh, but I'm going to cut the episodes well, I shouldn't say cut the episodes, I should say end the episodes uh, every time I complete a mission. That might change depending on how quickly they go by. I'm not, again, I'm not quite sure how I want to record this game. I haven't actually played it on my own yet. I want to record as much of it as I can so that you guys can see all of my successes and all of my failures right from the beginning. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and game. Uh, I did do just a little bit of investigating after I recorded the tutorial yesterday. Uh, each of these is basically a, can be a different attempt. They're not like profiles. They're um, basically I could play like an easy campaign in this slot and a really hard campaign in this slot and they'd be kept separate up until you lose and then the roguelike element takes over and you have to start all over again. So, uh, like I said just a minute ago, without further ado, let's get right into the game. I don't need to play the tutorial, I'm pretty sure I remember how to play. Okay. For players just starting out, that sounds absolutely perfect for me. So, let me just, out of curiosity, I want to check the settings. Uh, pardon me if I happen to snuffle or snort a little bit. I am getting over a little bit of an allergy storm over the past few days. I hope it doesn't get too obvious, but... Let's see, a rewind will allow you to turn back time to the beginning of your previous turn. Okay. Turning this on will allow you to retry missions at the beginning of the mission. Okay. When selected, the alarm will automatically go up on point each round. Uh, okay. 72 hours. You know what? Let's let's not look at the settings too much. And I'm not saying that because I'm getting a little confused. I'm saying that because I want the game to be a surprise. I don't want to know exactly how it all works. Get to the main server, collect the data, and get out. No detours. Copy that, Central. Proceeding to target. Oh. Ah. Insertion was clean. Alarm level holding steady. We need to get to the third floor. We can make our way to the server room from there. Any chatter on the comms? Negative. It's silent on all frequencies. They should have detected us by now. Receiving They're on to you. Get out. Get out of there! Going to need an extraction. 
I've got incognito. Deckard and International are on their way. Get to the roof. I'll cover you. Decker, how long till extraction? 30 seconds. Get us out of here. We've got work to do. And that's how you start off a game. Get the player really excited for what's going on. That was that was kind of a cool cutscene, I will admit. Um, I feel like I've seen that kind of that kind of animation before somewhere else, on like a cartoon or something. I'm not I'm not even a hundred percent sure what that style is called. Cell shading? I'm not sure. Regardless, it was really cool looking. I love that that style, and I don't think it gets used quite as much as it should. Um, oh, okay, so we have to pick two. I found Decker living with. in a bottle after his termination. He's cleaned up since then, but I keep eyes on, just to be sure. The 20th century thing is an unfortunate affectation, but I'm not paying him for his fashion sense. Okay, so these are our starting agents. Looks like we've only got, well, Decker and Internationale to start with. Internationale is one of the best all-round operatives I've ever seen, but she's held back by an unfortunate abundance of social concern. If used correctly, she's the bedrock upon which you can build a winning team. Just don't ask her about the plight of the global proletariat. Okay, these are just a little bit more of their bios. Programs. Generate one PowerPoint return, which is passive. Oh, looks like we've got other ones to start with. Gain three power per turn on cooldown. Four turn cooldown, so... Okay. So, wait, you have to spend five power to use this? So, is that basically saying I spend five power to turn this on, and then for the next four turns I get three power a turn? That, that's interesting, but the quick math in my head says that all that's going to give me is just a total of seven power, because I have to spend five like, it's going to generate 12 over the course of its effect, but I have to spend 5 to actually even use it. So, I think I'll just stick with Power Drip, and then what we got here? A uh, whole bunch of classifieds. Complete experience difficulty to unlock. Oh, so there's different unlock requirements. Okay. Well, let's see how this is basically all we're given to start with. Let's just go ahead and start. <clears throat> well, let's see if I can manage a interesting narrator voice. <clears throat> it is 2074 and corporations rule the world with brutal efficiency. They hit you hard and now you're on the run. You need to strike back but you'll never win by force. Keep your agents alive with stealth and cunning. Raid the corpse facilities for tools and support, and prepare your team for the final showdown. The odds are stacked against you. You will fail, repeatedly. But each time you will learn more about your adversaries, and every restart generates a new world of dangers and opportunities. You have a tough job ahead of you, Operator. Don't let us down. I hope that sounded as cool as it did in my head, because I'd never made that voice before. I hope I can make it again, because I'm not even 100% sure how I did that in the first place. But uh, how promising that the game's basically saying I'm going to lose many times. Operator, are you there? 
Good. I was afraid you didn't make it out. Headquarters is gone. Most of our agents have been captured or killed, and our accounts all frozen. I don't know how the corporations found us, but you can bet they won't give up now that they've had a taste of blood. The Jets' stealth rig should keep us hidden if we keep moving, but Incognita can't survive long on backup power. She's got 72 hours tops. We need to mount a counterattack before then, or we'll be defenseless against their scans. If that happens, we may as well just crash this thing into the ocean. You've never seen the inside of a corporate deprogramming chamber. I won't see the inside of another. Incognita is scanning for targets of opportunity where we can replenish our supplies. Follow her leads and gather what resources you can. I'll run through our contacts and see what favors I can call in. We're going to need all of the advantages we can find in the coming days. Okay. So... Yep, just giving a quick review of what we got, I guess. So it looks like we're in the middle of Europe, and we've only got this one option. What are these? Okay, return to the menu, and view your achievements. Eh, let's just... Executives are notoriously slack when it comes to network security, and their terminals are full of interesting information. We found a lightly guarded executive complex here. Get in, find the computer, and steal their contact list. Then we'll have our pick of future targets. Okay. Uh, just in case it wasn't obvious by now, I'm going to try my best to stay quiet when one of these characters is talking, just so that, one, you don't have to listen to myself and the game talking over each other, and for another, because it might have important information. And, you know, just this way you can also hear exactly what's going on in the game. So, find the corporate directory terminal, retrieve the information. This will get me new places to go, I guess. Factory to market wholesalers. FTM has advanced surveillance and scanning technology. You'll need to move fast in order to avoid detection. Guarded. The facility is guarded by civilian level security forces and minimal infosec assets. So, what happens if I get more info? Oh, okay. Facility holds locations of future targets of value. Each mission type provides key benefits to your agents, and while new locations will be presented to you over time, a successful infiltration here will speed up the process and give you more targets to choose. Okay. Yeah, and as you might have seen, our hours remaining tick down as we flew across the planet to get here. Okay. Let's go in. Bad news, Operator. They caught us completely by surprise, so we have no firepower with us. The guards' weapons are gene-coded to their owner, and useless to us. We're going to have to make do with what we can find along the way. Okay. We've beamed you through the security grid. You should be somewhere near the target, but you'll need to look for it. Get the list, and find a transport pad to escape. But be quick about it. They noticed a disturbance when we ported in, and their alarm level is already rising. Okay. Find the executive terminals, get out alive, secondary objectives, find and steal money. Okie dokie. So, we've got two doors. One that looks like it's locked, and one that is not locked. Now, Decker's got nine action points. Um, just in case I decide to not upload the tutorial, basically what these what this AP count means is how much they can do each turn. Uh, basically, quickly how the game works is I take all I, bleh, I move all of my agents around, and then I am my turn, the computer gets to move the guards around, and then it comes back to me. And basically every action, like moving, uh, peeking through doors and around corners, uh, and so forth, all use up AP, so I have to think very strategically about what I want to do. So, I think I want Decker to lead. And peek. Okay, we have... Okay, we've got a camera here. What's this? A nanofabric here. Okay, so it's a shop. Uh... So can I switch to international? Ooh. I probably should have looked at these before I started the game. 
Using her skin as an antenna, Internationale is able to manipulate electronics at a distance, allows agent to hack items from a distance through walls, automatically reveals nearby mainframe objects. Oh, cool. Okay, so I guess she's the scout character? I say maybe because Decker had a little bit more AP than she did, but whatever, let's get a bonus. So let's go ahead and take care of that terminal now so I don't have to get up close to it. Now then, I have a feeling... Uh, so really quick, red, uh, red tiles on the ground indicate that some enemy unit, either a guard or in this case a security camera, can see that spot. Yellow means that it's technically in their field of vision, but something is blocking their view. So, for example, I could have an agent here, and the camera couldn't see them because they're being blocked by this big computer terminal, I'm guessing? Computer terminal and slash gas tank? Alright. Because uh, I'm afraid that the camera's going to see me if I open the door. Let's ask Incognita to take control of the camera, and since we're here, let's also take this camera and unlock the safe. Alright, so nothing of interest in that room, but that's always good, because who knows, a guard might walk past. So let's have Decker, or, oh, no, uh, Decker, there we go. Let's have him... Oh, right, it's right click to move, not left click. And he's out of action points, so I can't actually look through the door. Warning. Now, okay, yes, thank you, game. I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to the controls. I'm a little bit worried because a guard could very well bolt right on in through this door in the next turn. So let's. Go to International. Uh, she's gonna have an action point left over, but let's move her right to there. Oh, she's out of reach. Okay, so there's a range. Uh, let's leave her there. I th think just kind of remembering how the field of vision works for guards in the tutorial, I think Decker would be okay if the guard comes straight in. If it's if he stops here and turns, obviously Decker's gonna be gone. But I think if the guard just walks right on by, he'll be okay. So let's cross our fingers and hope that I don't fail immediately. Okay. So Okay, security level. The corporation detected incognito signal when your agents teleported in. Every turn the security level increases as they track her. New security measures are added every five increments. Okay, so basically the levels get harder every five turns. That's just wonderful. Now what I think that ripple effect was was the sound of a guard walking past. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what it looked like when I saw a guard move in the tutorial. So, can she use... You know what, this is cheaper, so let's just have her run right up to the thing, and what can I get? Skeletal suspension. Nano-constructed fiber webbing surrounds the bones, vastly reducing the risk of arthritis. Improves the speed at which I can drag stunned guards. A small propelled shot delivers a knockout toxin to an unarmored target over a long range. Quiet and effective, but it can be awkward when the target comes to their senses. Okay, so basically the only way I can knock out a guard right now is if I'm right next to them, because these little taser stunner things are handheld in close range. This will basically let me shoot them with a Trank Dart from far away. Ooh, that's tempting to get, but that would be most of my money. Revives the Dying Agent. Uh, weapons capable of penetrating corporate armor require expensive and unstable energy packs. 
I don't think I can use most of this stuff right now. Uh, you know what, let's... Oof. Do I want to buy this? I feel like I should and just save it for emergencies. Yeah... Oh, but... It's gonna be like all my money, what if I find another shop on the same floor or something? You know, let, let's... Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, so it looks like you can sell things back for half their purchase cost. Okay, really quick. Decker, go ahead and peek through the door. Ooh, ooh. I see that. Somebody's looking at the door. I don't see... Uh, let's scoop my little butt over here. And did my mouse just die on me? Hello? Mouse? It's... Where's my mouse? Why is my mouse not responding? What's going on? Okay, that's me using the touchpad on my... Yeah, my mouse just... stopped working. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for doing this. Right in the middle of the recording. Now I gotta get up. Uh, I'm gonna cut here just so that you guys don't have to sit through me getting up and going to find a battery. I'll be right back. Okay, new battery's in. Mouse is working again. Uh, let's turn the touchpad off just so that I don't mess something up again. Alright. What I'm gonna do... I'm gonna open the door and see if that attracts the guard's attention. It does not. Okay. Ah, because it's not a guard, it's a camera. Alright. Incognito, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, there's the guard. Okay, now what's nice is I can... take a peek at his movements. Which costs me an action point. But it looks like he's going to march... Either to, either to this tile or this tile. Sorry about that, just nudging the microphone a little bit because it looked like I bumped it when I got up. Alright, but regardless, he's coming back this way. Now... Do I want to let him... Notice the door come in and get stunned? Or do I want to try and go the super sneaky way and close the door, let him go by, and then next turn sneak out behind him? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna try going the super sneaky way. Let me put the camera back to where it was. I'm going to close this door, just so that he doesn't notice anything. And International can come right up here. She can steal a little bit of power from that console, steal a little bit of power from this console. Alright, we're doing good. Oop, I see that. What is that? It is a corporate safe. Ooh, how much you want to bet there's goodies in there? Alright, so next turn I'll have somebody slip through and open the safe. Now my guess is he's just going to go back and forth. So I wonder... So... Oh wait, no, it doesn't look like there's a door over there. Okay, because I kind of want somebody to go this way, through through this door over here. Uh, oh, it just is dawning on me now. You can't see the mouse cursor because when I did a quick audio test, I noticed that where the cursor was being recorded was actually a little bit off of 
where I was pointing in game and sometimes it just wasn't recording the cursor at all so I just decided to not record the cursor if I can figure out how to get it to be more accurate and always present then I will go ahead and start recording the mouse cursor again but you can kinda see where I'm pointing anyway so yeah let's go ahead and let him go by Okay, so he stopped right there. Hold Alt to get a better view of the map. Okay. Ooh, I can also toggle wall visibility. Ooh, that that's better for seeing important things, but when there's a couple of people right next to each other, they kind of blend together. At least for me. Okay, so let's... Who have I got selected? International? Okay, now my bit... Actually, let's use Decker, because he's got more. Doesn't cost anything to open a door. And... Yeah, okay, so this, uh, this guy's just going to keep going back and forth. So I bet what I can do is I can have somebody hide on the other side of the statue. And he's just going to immediately turn around, have his vision blocked by the statue, and just walk back towards this dead end. Now, what's, what's this evil-looking door? I don't know if I want to know, so you know what? Let's sneak right behind him. Uh, quickly take a peek, just to make sure it's safe to go in. Pop open this door, step inside, close it behind me. And do... Uh, is this going to look further into the room, or is this going to look through the door? Okay, that's going to look further into the room. Yeah, I know. I used the wrong mouse button again. Alright, we got a console, and ooh, we got another safe. We got more loot. Alright, so next turn, Decker's going to go ahead and take all that stuff. Now you are going to quietly move up behind him, shut the door so he doesn't notice, and then sneak around right to here. And oh, I could move here and get a little extra distance. Yeah, it says it's hidden, so I'm going to trust the game. Alright, let's hope my little gamble's paying off. I'm still not used to the quirks of this game. There's a guard up there. There's a guard up there. I'm not happy about that. Go away, please. What do I want to do with this guy? You know what? Let's do the safe thing first. Let's peek through the door, make sure it's okay. Uh, I see a Warning. Yeah, I know. I keep using the wrong mouse to try and move the camera. Okay, this camera... There's a camera here on the wall, but it's off. That's good. So let's... Open... No, I think it's safe. Step through and shut the door so that guard A doesn't notice us. Or suspect anything, I should say. And then, just to be sure, let's get behind this table. And you like the power. And she's pretty much good. Now, what have we got here? We've got a guard. What's this? Decker managed to sneak this rig out of the building the day he was fired from his last corporate job. Modded cloaking rig renders the user invisible until their next turn or if they attack has an 8 turn cooldown. I'm gonna spin the camera really quick. I am so lucky there's like a little wall right there. Because if there wasn't, he would have been spotted right away. Where are you going to go? Okay, you're going to go back. Okay.
Okay, I can either spend the cloaking rig this turn to get into this corner and steal from the safe, which the guard might notice. At least, I would notice if a safe suddenly opened up on its own. Or, I could have Decker just wait this whole turn, wait for the guard to turn his back, steal this safe, then come right up here and steal this safe. That sounds like the better plan. Save the cloaking rig in case I get spotted. Okay, I'm not sure where he thinks he's going. Let's go right up here. Got 150 bucks. And right here. We got another 150 bucks. Can I peek the seed into this corner? Okay. And. Uh, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Alright. I'm going to assume this guy's just pacing back and forth like his friend. Ooh, but the security level is going to increase. Do guards change their pathways when the security level goes up? I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time playing. I don't know. Uh, go right there and just hide. You... Okay, we've got two pathways. We can either go through this door, or we can go in here. Let's go through this door. Okay, we've got another camera, but that one's not on either. Can I hack these cameras that are off? No, I can't. Okay. So Alright, the door looks safe, so let's... Uh, let's just peek again, just to make super sure. Okay. Uh, I'm so paranoid of guards just sneaking in from out of my view, so let's just shut the door just to be safe. Okay. Alright, so the security level doesn't increase until the end of the turn. If cracked incognito's first layer of encryption, be careful, the next alarm levels will be quite dangerous. But otherwise nothing's happening? No. I'd love to sneak by and get this. Um, that would be three, four, five. Oof. Um, I think I'm just going to ignore this terminal. I'm almost full on power anyway, so I don't think I need it. And what I think I want to do. Something I learned in the tutorials is using these yellow spots for my advantage. So, go here. You know, this looks like it's right in front of him. It counts as a blind spot, apparently. Well, yeah, I don't know, maybe this guard's got poor vision. Uh, let's stay here. Because even if Deckard could go here, he couldn't look through the door. Well, you know, he could. Uh, but I'm worried about this spot becoming visible when the guard turns around. Like, I don't know, do there, does their field of vision just immediately snap to the other side, or does it actually spin? You know, let's just leave him there to be safe. Uh, okay, this room's still good. Door, go over here, and a peeky peek. Ow! That's gonna be the death of me. That's going to be the death of me. Not not that particular misclick, but just misclicks in general. That's going to be the death of me. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it looks like the vision might just snap to the new direction they're looking in. Another camera that's turned off. Why do I feel like those cameras are going to turn on soon? 
regardless, let's get Decker out of here. Is this room safe? Ooh. Okay, that's the exit. It stinks because that means... Well, f unless the terminal is like right over here. Uh, Internationale is going to have to run past... Well, she's going to have to run past two guards anyway because she needs to get to the exit. But that also means Decker is over here with nothing really important to do. Okay, I can... Okay, yeah, there's no point in going this way. So, why don't we just move you back? I could try to slip him out, but I don't want to risk it. Let's just keep you hidden right there for now. You're not going to be doing much, but just in case. Just kind of keep an eye on that guard. Now, it looks like the room continues this way. Uh, ooh, we got a safe. Oh, that's a big safe. Oh, it's got two firewalls on it. Alright. I feel like I should get Decker out of there. I mean, I know he's going to be safe right here because there's a big old desk in the way. But I feel like having two agents running around over here will help a lot more than just having one. get you to hide behind this desk instead. You're gonna have to skip your next turn just to let this guy turn back and stare at the wall. But that's fine. Okay, so it looks like this sort of for some reason, these corner parts of the desks are hidden. Like, these I could maybe assume that, like, the screens are in the way, but I don't know how I was able to slip over that tile. Anyway, international, if you wouldn't mind... Okay, yes, yeah, so this is just a dead end, but we've got a safe. Ooh. Let's take that money. Almost earned enough to pay off that dart gun. And it looks like we got a revive, so let's start moving back. You can't do anything. Because again, Mr. Guard over there is looking at us, so Decker's just gonna have to skip his turn. It's actually nice having this camera, because that's keeping an eye on this guy over here. So let's get my butt over here. Open the door, step through, shut the door, and then do what Interna International did and hide right there. Or, actually, yeah, let's hide right there, which I think is actually what International did. And then, just in case that camera turns on, and it also reacts to closed doors, or not closed doors, open doors. How long have I been recording for, by the way? 40 minutes! It does not feel like it's been that long. Okay, this first level and all that yakking at the beginning, that's probably going to be its own episode. Uh, once I finish this, we'll have to see for the rest. It really does not feel like I've been recording for 40 minutes. It feels like I've been recording for... 20. <laughs> Alright. Uh, shut the door. Move over here. Step through, and shut the door again. Alright. Decker, get through. Close the door. How close can you get? Uh, right about this hair, huh? Uh, oh no, he can actually get to right here. He can't go any further because uh, apparently they can't share tiles, but it's okay. Additional security 
Or... I knew the other cameras would turn on. I knew those cameras were going to turn on. Okay, I have a free turn, which is nice. Yeah, that one's turning on. Can I take them? And I'll take this one, but I'll ignore these two, because that's a dead end that I've already emptied, so we're good over there. And it doesn't look like they're turning to this one, or they're fixing this one, so let's go here. There's the executive terminal. I bet they're writing gripping TPS reports on that. Okay. Uh, let's actually move her out of the way, just so the Decker can get a little closer. Now, is this room guarded? I didn't see anything. And it doesn't look like it is. Okay. So I feel safe. Oh, wait, there's a door over there. Ooh, did I just mess myself up? Please don't tell me I messed myself up. Messed myself up? I can speak good. Okay. Uh, Decker. Shh. He's not gonna have enough power to look through the door. Well, to be fair, if a guard was coming through, based on the patterns we've seen, a guard would have come through this door already. So let's just get you guys in here. I am not happy that this terminal is at the far end of the floor from the, ele from the elevator exit teleporter thingy. Alright, Jacker, anything in there? Uh oh, I see a guard. He's going back that way. Alright, that did not alert him. I want that safe. The greediness in me wants that safe. Uh, should I? I mean, I don't see why I shouldn't, right? Okay. Now he's not gonna have enough action points to get in and out. Renders the user invisible until their next turn. Next turn. Alright, so to me that's saying that it will turn off at the beginning of my next turn. Which should be after this guard. Ooh, but can they detect people that are standing right next to them? Uh, let's just close the door. So I'll take five points to get in. Actually, you know what? If I move right here, I think I can get in, grab the safe, and get back out before he notices. And because I've got a bad feeling about... I'm, I'm just I'm paranoid about a booby trap. I feel like when I take this terminal, the game's gonna activate more guards or pull some trick on me to make getting to the elevator harder. So let's go ahead and just wait out the turn. Okay, that's probably the guard that I couldn't see up by the elevator. Teleporter. Alright, Decker, let's open the door. Please be looking at the wall. That is the worst guard at his job. That guard is the worst at his job. He didn't even notice me. Standing right next to him, open a door right in front of him, take some money, and then just walk away. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to question it. I got the money and I got out. Alright, let's go ahead and... I knew it! I knew the game would pull something sneaky on me. 
Okay, let's... Alright, so apparently this thing is really heavy because she's now encumbered and loses one maximum AP. Do I get it? Oh, there's another safe in there! No! I want that safe! No, no, I shouldn't. I should just leave. Um, really quick, just so that she isn't encumbered, let's pass the site list off to Decker. Then get her hidden around the corner. And because I'm afraid of this guard walking right through the door. Let's get Decker ready to ambush him. Great, now they're walking around erratically. Yep, I knew it. He'd come right through the door. Many items must cool down for several turns before they can be used again. So how does the count work? Oh, cool. Okay. Well, it stinks because now I've been detected basically because I ambushed a guard. Well, I can get the safe now. Look at it. I'm going for it. Now, what's nice is that he will stay down for three turns. And I can prolong that if I have an agent stand on top of him. So let's just... Ooh, I got an achievement. I wonder if that showed up or not. Alright, you're just going to have to stand there, which is fine, because there's nothing else security based in the room. And while I'd like to start moving you towards the door, let's just have you sit on this guard. See if anything interesting? He's got a key card, but I think we'll just take the money. I think that key card is just for this door, which, to be honest, might be a good idea, but I don't have any room. I see it's a good idea because I could, if I wanted to spend a little bit more time, I could go through here and then have a much shorter distance to go past this hallway where this card's wandering around. Oh god, the patrol's changed. Which means that the guy up here is now... Who knows where. Alright. Here's where things get interesting. Corporation... Okay, well, all the cameras are still mine, right? Yeah, okay, so the only things that are still left to hack are these two cameras, which don't do anything for me. So... Let's see, how far can I go if I decide to drag the guard? Only two spaces? Oh my god, no way. Let's just... Alright, look, he's gonna be down for three turns. I'll be gone by then. If I shut the door, hopefully he won't notice. Although, if his AI is smart enough, he'll realize that if he came from this room, I know he was in there, and we probably went this way. Oh, I feel like I'm panicking because I don't know the game very well. <laughs> that makes it more fun to watch, though, right? Right? Okay, I, s I still have vision in this room and this room. No guards. Although I have since lost sight of the two other up here, which is not good. So let's get Decker up to here. International can go right to here, shut the door behind her. Hopefully he won't notice. He's still down for two turns. This is going to get tense when he wakes up. Alright, so now is he going to wake up this turn, or is he going to wake up next turn? I'm going to operate under the assumption that he's going to wake up next turn. Quick time check. 50 minutes! Woohoo! More hour-long episodes. Oh, I'm definitely going to... I'm not going to like it, but I'm going to break this episode up into a couple pieces. I can't believe it took me this long. It really does not feel like it's taken that long. Is it safe? Yeah, it looks like it's safe. 
It looks like there's a guy in the camera's blind spot, so let's just get up to here. You get over to here, shut the door, and go hide right next to the door. Something's telling me to get ready with the stun, with the taser. Is that a taser? I don't think it is. Don't tasers shoot little, like, darts or something? I don't know. Okay, nobody came in. And if I have Decker walk up to the door and peek, I don't see anybody. Okay, so... Okay, if I move him there, he's going to be at a point. So let's go right to here. And then you, International, again, come through and close the door to keep my tracks covered. Oh, if I move there, I'm not going to have enough points to look through the door either. Shoot. Uh, Alright, well, she's her taser's still good. I'm just going to call it a taser until I figure out what it actually is. Stunner? Neural Disruptor? I don't know, Taser's easier to say. <laughs> or easier to remember, at least. Alright, let's just get ready, just in case somebody pops their head out through the door. Okay, so we can only hear guards when we're close enough, which makes sense. Okay, so somebody's walking around in this room. I have no idea where the other guard went, which is scaring me just the tiniest bit. Okay, it looks like you're both in there. And judging by how he's looking at... Now this is hidden? But it's... it's red. Right? Okay, let's open the door. Can I get a better peek now? Oh, okay, there we go. It's updated now. Okay, so you haven't changed your route. You're still just walking back and forth. You, on the other hand... Let's actually get International out of there and move Decker in just so that I've got some more points to work with. You're walking back this way. Okay, but that means he's going to... Stop on this square and be staring into the wall. I, I can't move any closer, but I think and this guy's looking this way and this guy's looking this way. I can sneak past. Oh, I hope that's right. Yeah, he's looking in the wall. His friends. Oh. Okay, there's another guard now, which means I really have to get through this room as fast as I can. Why did it zoom in? Oh, I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, Decker can just barely slip past. It'll be okay if I get to there, because I can shut the door behind me and hide. So now where are you going? Okay, you're going back that way. Alright, so let's get through here, shut the door. Alright, so Decker's pretty much safe. You, on the other hand, are still in a lot of trouble. So let's get to here. I'm assuming this is still going to be safe when he turns around to look. Which is why I went to this tile instead of this tile. And, ah, you are coming right back. But I remember from Decker, I can slip through the blind spots. Okay, so I think I'm alright. Except for that new guard. I don't know what he's planning to do. Oh, thank goodness you decided not to look at the door. I can get out of here. Alright, 
first off, Decker, you gotta get your butt into the teleporter. And then International. Sneak up right behind him. Shut the door. And alright. Awesome! I've had a very interesting list of contacts. I'm sure they won't miss it. Sweet. Ooh, I got another achievement. Okay, so apparently these guys are still distracted. We're distracted because I guess I let this I didn't uh, finish fast enough. And their boss radioed them or something and said, Hey, why don't you look around? So we had some weird stuff happening. And that's the guy that I surprised. Alright, so I made a profit of 345 credits. Alright, I seem to do pretty good. Okay, so that was the first mission of my first attempt at a campaign in Invisible Ink. It took me an hour when it definitely did not feel like it. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. We're going to see what happens, and then after that I'm going to stop recording for right now. Or at least for this episode. I'll probably break it up into a couple of parts. Not really thrilled about that, but I don't want to put up just a whole bunch of hour-long episodes right off the bat. Uh, oh, we can upgrade? What's this? Decker's vertebrae have been replaced with synthetics of varying quality when checked in. The jolts of pain alone to differentiate subroutines. Okay. As agent to uncover daemons. I don't know what a daemon is, but that does not sound friendly. Let's see. Speed. Oh, okay, so I can spend my money to upgrade these guys. So let's see. So I can up his strength. So he can carry four items instead of three. I can upgrade International to be a little bit faster. Adds one power for every console hijack. I think I did pretty good for, for now. Strength and what's this? Anarchy. Uh, ooh, I can steal from behind guards. So I don't have to KO them if I need a key card. I can just sneak up behind them and take them. And just, you know, nick them out of their pocket. Okay. I kind of want that, but who do I want to give it to? Decker or... National? Uh, let's give it to... Decker. And what's this? Can I upgrade Incognita? I cannot. Okay, but I, I feel like in other levels I can find more stuff to install in her. Because it, it seems like she's an AI sort of deal. I've re-established contact with Monster. His network picked up the attack just before it hit us, and we're working to trace it back to the source. In the meantime, he's offered to sell us some of his more rarefied stock. Greetings. I don't often perform transactions face-to-face, -face, but Gladstone is an old friend. I'll contact you when anything becomes available. Thank you, Monster. If we find their central server, we may be able to bring them down, or at least distract them long enough that they lose our trail. Continue scavenging operations, and I'll keep you posted as more intel develops. Okay. Uh, can I actually... Okay, I was about to say, can I go back in and upgrade my agents really quick? Because I meant to... Give... Ooh, I'm taking a big risk selling to you right now, so don't make me regret it. What's this? Well, I don't have enough for it, monster, but thank you anyway. Back in additional processing power, additional artificial neuro bundles may be implanted into any major muscle mass. 50% chance to gain a power point at the beginning of each turn. Okay, so that's basically I flip a coin and Incognita gets a little bit more powerful, or a little bit more energy. Yeah, yeah it sounds nice, but again, I can't afford it, so... Uh, I, oh, I can't afford... I wanted to give... National one more point just to get get her on par with Decker, but I can't afford it, so never mind. Okay, so that was the first episode of uh, Invisible Ink, or first episode, first mission. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little break right here.
uh, just to get a drink of water, get up and stretch a little bit, all that. I hope, uh, wow, brain fart right in the middle of my sentence, but I better hurry up because it looks like the clock's still ticking. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you had a great time, and I hope you all had a great day. I will see you in the next episode. Farewell for now.